right, my predictions for episode nine and the rest of the season when they come back on Valentine's Day, how appropriate. Um, well, they'll come back. Uh, I, I imagine it'll be the exact same scene with Rick and everyone uh, in their gut ponchos walking through Alexandria. Sam's going to start saying mom. Here comes a big spoiler alert. All these predictions are going to have spoilers from uh, the comic book because that's going to help me predict. Um, Sam will start saying mom. He'll start getting devoured by zombies. Jesse won't let him go. She's holding on to Carl and baby Judith. Rick's going to be like, let her go, let him go. Jesse's going to start getting eaten by zombies. Rick's going to take that hatchet, chop her arm off to free Carl. Ron's going to see this, try to shoot Rick. Carl will get in the way, get blasted in the face. Michelle's going to take her katana, kill uh, Ron right away, maybe chop his head off. And uh, who knows what Gabriel's going to be doing during this time. Uh, I assume baby Judith will fall with Carl. Uh, probably Michonne will grab baby Judith as Rick tries to find Dr. C, who was with them in the comic book, but now with the wolf being uh, having her as a hostage, who knows how that's going to play out. Maybe Rick and them will run into the wolf and Dr. C, and uh, Rick will, or someone will kill the wolf. Maybe the wolf will come around. It'll be interesting to see what happens with the wolf, because I really like the actor, really like the character. Uh, It'd be cool if he came around and actually became one of the group, but this son of a bitch is so evil. That, that, I don't believe that will happen. It'll be a nice twist if it does, but uh, uh, he, he's, he's a twisted psycho. Uh, he really is. Also in episode 9, uh, Glenn will rescue Maggie. Uh, I presume it to be a 90-minute episode. Uh, I think a lot will be resolved. Uh, once Carl gets shot, Rick will start going psycho nuts on the zombies, similar as he did when Lori died in uh, season 3. He won't go crazy, though, which has been the low point of the show, in my opinion. It was okay in the source material, but it did not translate to TV whatsoever. Um, so, Rick will start going crazy on the zombies. Everybody will be hiding in the houses and look out and see Rick kicking ass and join in. All the Alexandrians will start helping. A lot of people are going to die, but they'll eventually kill all the zombies. All right, the actor Tom Paine has been cast as Jesus. So, I predict that in the... Uh, season mid-season premiere, an after credit scene will have uh, Paul Jesus Monroe looking with his binoculars at Alexandria. That would be pretty cool. And then uh, the next several episodes, uh, we'll, we'll get to meet Jesus hell of a run in with some of the characters. Uh, who knows which characters those will be. It would be really cool if Jesus showed up and helped dispatch Negan's men that Daryl, Abe, and Sasha run into. And then that's how they meet. That would be pretty cool. That could happen. Uh, let me know what you think is going to happen down there in the comments section. Xander Berkeley has been cast as Gregory. We know the Hilltop's coming, thanks to the Spoiling Dead fans and all of their uh, their, their spoilers with their pictures and stuff. I want to give a shout-out to the Spoiling Dead fans uh, real quick. They have a website, SpoilingDeadFans.com. They also have a Facebook page. Just look up Spoiling Dead fans. Um, or SpoilingDeadFans.com, excuse me. I'll, I'll put the links in the description. Uh, I think I'm a Walking Dead fan. I mean, these people uh, are trying to get on set taking pictures for us. Uh, spoilers have never bothered me. Uh, in fact, I think they help me pay attention when I know what's going to happen. Uh, a little bit. I mean, they'll mention what happens, but not really too detailed. So you might know what's going to happen, but it, it'll play out different than you thought it would. Just, uh, you know, you don't know what camera angles are used and what kind of gore effect there will be. So it's, it's, it's cool what, what, how the uh, characters are acting. You don't know any of those yet, but... Uh, it helps me pay attention. Anyways, Spoiling Dead fans, they're awesome. I don't think people realize the hard work that uh, they put into providing us all this awesome spoiler info. Uh, if you don't mind spoilers, definitely check them out on the Facebook or their Facebook page and go to their website and sign up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave uh, links in the description of this video. So definitely check out the Spoiling Dead fans. They're awesome. Gregory's kind of uh, just a sleazeball. This guy can play sleazeball perfectly. Uh, we know the hilltop is coming. Jesus and Gregory have been cast. Here's the big one. Jeffrey Dean Morgan has been cast as Negan, the comedian from The Watchmen. Uh, awesome actor. He is going to nail Negan. They're not going to be able to, to drop F-bombs every other word, but Negan will be awesome. Uh, I predict he will come in the season finale. Now, um, I'm thinking he's going to line everybody up. It's going to play out just like the comic. They're going to do a lot of stuff word for word. He will do the me any, meeny, miny, mo. 
he will pick out Glenn, bring him up, and everybody thinks this is it's going to be like the comic book. Then somebody's going to step up and take his place. I'm guessing it's going to be Morgan. Uh, I hope it's not Abraham. I wouldn't, I wouldn't like that. Uh, I would rather it be Rick or Daryl. That would be awesome. They're not going to kill off either one of those. They're the cash cows. So it'll probably be Morgan. Negan will kill Morgan. Uh, in the comic book, it's Rick, Carl, Sophia, Heath, Michonne, Glenn, and Maggie. So it'll be uh, cool to see what characters they put there in the lineup instead. Uh, probably, well, it'll be Enid now because she's kind of the uh, adopted daughter of Glenn and Maggie. Um, totally going to fill the Sophia role. Uh, so we got Rick, Carl, Enid, Glenn, Maggie. I don't. Where the fuck has Heath been? Last time we saw Heath, he was looking at his reflection in the water. Um, maybe he'll show up. I doubt he'll be one of the... And probably Morgan will be uh, the, the seventh one with the group. But that would be too obvious who he's going to kill. Uh, I cannot wait for Jeffrey Dean Morgan just smiling and tapping Lucille at people and pointing and talking about, this is Lucille. After he hits him, <laughs> Lucille's a vampire bat. I'm just getting started, you bunch of fucking pussies. And, uh, they may be, they may drop an F-bomb. If they, if they don't drop one when Andrew Lincoln, uh, they're fucking with the wrong people. If they made, they're screwing with the wrong people. On the Blu-ray, they made, they're fucking with the wrong people. So, maybe on the Blu-rays they're released, uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan will be dropping F-bombs every other word. Doubt it, but you never know. They, they film a lot of takes of The Walking Dead, so they could do it one way and then do it with the bad language and put it in the Blu-ray. I'm sure Kirkman and Gimple have really thought about how to put Negan on TV. So I'm so happy he's coming. So thrilled as Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I already did a video about the casting if you want to check that out. It's on our channel, Greybeard Gaming. Um, cannot wait till Valentine's Day to get back so we get some more Walking Dead. This back eight should be the best eight episodes they've ever had. This is some of my favorite moments of the comic book coming up. Uh, comic number 100, and Negan, uh, uh, that's going to be the peak. It was the peak of the comic, still has been. Um, it will be the peak of the show for me. Doesn't mean I'm not going to watch anymore. I'm still going to love the show, but nothing can get better than that iconic scene of Negan's first appearance. Um, it's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to be heartbreaking. Oh, I cannot wait. I wish it was uh, the season finale already. <laughs> so, will Carl and Enid get together? Um, if they're going to go the, the, the route with Comic Sophia, I think it's going to be more of a brother-sister relationship with them, but uh, maybe a romantic uh, involvement later on in the series. Uh, I think it's going to be more of a best friend, almost brother-sister relationship at first. And, and then they'll blossom. And, and they're going to love each other, just... Uh, one won't tell the other one they love them. You know, it's like that scene in the tree where she, good, you're scared of me too, which was awesome. I, I really like Carl to, to get him some. We all know he just got some not that long ago in the comic from Lydia. Well, that's way down the road, ladies and gentlemen. All right, with Deanna asking Michonne, what do you want? And I'm guessing that Michonne wants a relationship. She wants to be loved. Um, it'd be awesome if we get our Michonne, Rick and Michonne relationship. I'd be a fan of that. Uh, Michelle would take the place of Andrea and kind of be like Carl's new mom. I really think that could happen, especially because I'm sure Jesse's dying in the, in the mid-season premiere. And Michonne and Morgan hooked up in the comic during this time, but I don't see that happening. Morgan's uh, too different now. I don't think he would ever be with another woman after his wife. But we'll see. Maybe it could be uh, Michonne and Morgan, and they go on to have... Uh, a wonderful relationship for the next several seasons. I doubt that's that's going to happen, uh, but that's definitely what Michonne wants is uh, a relationship, I believe anyway. So she's going to go after Rick uh, in the back half, and maybe they'll hook up. Okay, after uh, Negan's appearance, where he's going to bash somebody's brains in with his baseball bat named Lucille, it's a uh, Louisville Slugger wrapped in barbed wire, best weapon of all time. Um, after his first appearance, when Rick goes back to the hilltop and tells him, you know, this son of a bitch just showed up and killed one of my guys, one of my best friends, why didn't you tell me he was such a badass, pretty much? Uh, you know, there's always a bigger fish, and Dick Grimes, uh, Dick Grimes, Rick Grimes, big dick swinging lately, just everything he's running to, he's cut through like butter, and there's always a bigger fish, and he runs into Negan. So Rick uh, gets put into his place. 
But he comes back to the hilltop, talks to Jesus, and Jesus says, well, I think it's time that you meet Ezekiel and take you to the kingdom. The kingdom is another community like Alexandria, like the hilltop, that uh, I think it's in an old high school. And Ezekiel, Ezekiel is the leader. He's a black male with long white dreads that go down like his ass. He was a zookeeper, and he has a, no shit, a pet tiger named Shiva. Now, a lot of people are wondering if they'll even do Ezekiel and the tiger or make it a dog or something like that because uh, it would be very expensive to do a CG tiger. Well, I think about K&B, the experts, Greg Nicotero and Howard Bergman. Uh, they did the lion in the movie Jumanji, which was awesome, looked real. Uh, they're going to build a, a tiger, several tigers, and, and mix it with CG. That will be awesome. She's going to be in the show. Uh, Shiva is around a little while in the comic book, but then uh, she eventually dies, uh, saving Ezekiel and some others. So she probably won't be around for too long. She dies during the All Out War, which uh, I'm guessing All Out War will be uh, maybe the back half of Season 7. We'll find out. So Jesus will show Rick and everyone the hilltop. When Rick and them first get there, and they're uh, introducing Rick to the leader, Gregory, who's going to be played by Xander Berkeley. Um, a man comes up named Ethan. He is going to stab Gregory in the belly. Rick's going to instantly kill this guy in front of everybody. The guy is doing this to Gregory because Negan sent him to do this, or he was going to kill the guy's wife. So uh, Rick instantly kills this guy. All the hilltop people are terrified, and Rick's just like, what? As he's covered in blood. I mean, he's down. He's just slit the guy's throat and the blood fall on Rick's face. Should be kind of awesome. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at the G Beard Gaming. Like our Facebook page at the Gray Beard Gaming. Comment, subscribe, thumbs up some of our vids right here on YouTube. Check us out on Twitch live streaming right now. Wendell X is live streaming some modded Fallout 4 on a supercomputer. Looks freaking awesome. And make sure you keep it tuned right here to Gray Beard Gaming for everything that matters. Woo! Tiptoe through the tulips, the little metal.